Hi guys, Bob here. Got an unboxing for you again. And uh, this one, uh, I need to give a special shout out and thank you to Danny over at App Screencast. And I will make sure that uh, all the links are in for his channel. I'd, lo I'd love for you to go and uh, check him out and make sure that uh, you see what he's all about. He knows his onions, he's a tech YouTuber. And uh, he's sent me a Spigen iPhone 6 Plus case and uh, I'm really, uh, I'm re I actually I'm really liking the design of this one. Um, so now Spigen, Spigen, I'm not sure, quite 100% sure how it's actually pronounced, whether it's Spigen or Spigen. And this one is a Neo Hybrid case. And I'll just uh, show you that there so you can see it a bit better. And you've got its uh, model code there. And uh, let's get into it because uh, I want to show you it on the device. So you don't get a great deal inside here. You open it up. You've literally got this piece of cardboard here. And I do know that there will be a slip inside there so that you can uh, sort of, um, you get to uh, basically register it and authenticate that it is a genuine uh, Spigen product. So you know, that, that's a nice little touch. Um, so if I close that again and let's have a closer look at the actual case itself now. This one, believe it or not, is actually a two-piece case and I've sort of like tried both ways of fitting it as to which is going to uh, be the best and it doesn't really seem to make a lot of ma uh, difference uh, which way is easiest actually but as you can see it has this outer frame that's got the, uh, the pieces of plastic in for the buttons there and that is just uh, in this nice sort of gunmetal goldish sort of finish and it's, it is just plastic it's, it's relatively uh, soft and it would break easily if you were to put too much uh, strain on that and then of course you've got this uh, rubberized part here which has got a pretty tough back and these little rid edges um, that uh, the, the, the frame actually sits in and then you've got this uh, grooved pattern in the back and a nice sort of grippy finish put onto here and of course you get the, uh, the company's logo on the case there. So let's put this uh, back on and we'll get my iPhone 6 Plus placed in it. So as you can all see it goes pretty easily together. I do have just a, a cheapy clear case on there at the moment. I'll put that to one side and uh, let's uh, get this Fitted. Now it's a it's a pretty close fit. Grips nicely. That's going in there and a quick press in. There, there we go. We're in. Now that's a um, you know obviously it's a six plus. It is adding adding quite a a bit of bulk to it, I suppose, because it's already a large device anyway. The six plus uh, definitely a lot grippier. Um, that's not going to slide out of my hand anywhere near as easily as the naked uh, devices. Uh, so, quick look around it. You can see you've got the, uh, the black outline there. Um, shouldn't be any flashback off that. There's plenty of space all the way around it. You've got these buttons here. So you've got your power button there. And if we have a look on the bottom, you can see that everything is nicely open there. You may struggle to get certain types of uh, headphone jack in there, but all that's nice and clear. You're going to get plenty of space around there, plenty of space for all your speaker grill and everything. So there you go. Um, look at the other side. You've got your rocker switches for your volume there. And that's a little deep. I'm probably going to be a little finger guy to get into there. I can, yeah, I can just reach with the middle finger actually, so, you know, but it is, it is relatively deep in there. But anyway, so if I just uh, strike that up, and we'll just see what these buttons are like. No extra pressure required whatsoever. Very impressed with that, because that was the one let down with this case, is that this button here, I was needing to apply a fair bit of pressure to... Uh, to uh, lock the device or wake it up. And the same with the volume ones here, I was having to apply much more pressure. So 
I'm actually looking forward to using this one to be honest because uh, it's going to make things a little bit easier because it did get quite annoying so yeah I'm quite happy with that no extra pressure required so that is the Spigen Neo Hybrid um, and again a big thank you to Danny over at Scrap App Screencast and I will leave the link to his channel here okay so cheers for watching guys and I'll uh, catch you all in the next one Cheers guys, see ya.